name is Allie Cade and I'm a curator at the Carolina Music Museum in Greenville, South Carolina. While we face this unprecedented time, you unfortunately cannot come visit our collections, so I will be bringing our collections to you. Today I wanted to share a small left-handed banjo made by Gilbert O. Kibbe in Hartford, Connecticut in 1885. The instrument features a walnut fingerboard with frets and inlaid bone dots, as well as a decoratively carved peg head. The tension hoop is steel with a brass rim surrounding a calfskin head. The dowel stick framing the back of the instrument is stamped with Kibbe's name and the serial number of the instrument, 261. Kibbe was active between 1883 and 1891 and was actually one of two banjo makers working in Hartford during that time. The work of a New England banjo maker like Kibbe embodies the complex place of the banjo in American history, which represents a musical journey stretching from the African continent to the European colonies of the Caribbean, South America, and North America. Eventually, the banjo is further disseminated from the American South to Appalachia and New England. As an instrument that originated from within African and African American cultures, the banjo initially played a role in asserting resistance and maintaining cultural ties in a time of enslavement and severe racial discrimination. Appropriated by white Americans in the early 19th century, the banjo becomes closely associated with blackface minstrelsy as well as Appalachian culture. By the end of the century, the banjo experienced yet another evolution as it became an instrument popular among wealthy white Americans. This particular instrument represents the latter stage of the banjo's trajectory. It's rather small in size, which may suggest its use as a parlor banjo. Instruments like this one exemplify the boom of banjo making in late 19th century northern states and were specifically marketed towards elite men and women who played at home and even in the banjo clubs and ensembles that flourished across New England. Today, there are some really exciting movements that are attempting to bring the banjo back into black communities, such as the Black Banjo Reclamation Project. I will link their handle below so you can look at that to learn more. Other than that, please leave any questions about the instrument below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching.